Well, we're right back with you. Darren Jaime here with you. Our contact information is on the screen. So feel free at any time to join in on our discussion or send us an email at the show so we can open it up right here for you. The mission of the New York City Venture Philanthrop uh, Philanthropy Fund is to help city residents begin their own organizations and to be able to solve problems in their own communities. The fund allows regular people to perform some big philanthrop philanthropic acts. And joining us now to talk more about the fund is founder and chair Heather Reese. And as always, when we say this as journalists, when we say philanthropy, philanthropic, it's always, but it's a, it's a <laughs> worthwhile venture. Yes, and then we call it VPF. Okay. So feel free to use that. I'm going to give you the best way for the rest of this segment, <laughs> BBF. <laughs> So basically we're a giving circle made up of various professionals throughout the city, cross sectors, and mm -hmm. all across New York. And we provide capital, skills, and access to networks to New York City's most promising emerging social entrepreneurs. People whose work is really focusing on some of the most persistent issues in New York City. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about this because uh, when, you, when you look at the area of being philanthropic, it's a hard area because there's so mm -hmm. many people, and now with the economy, yeah. uh, are you finding that things are changing? Well, we just started actually. Our launch was in March mm -hmm. and we are building up our membership right now. In fact, um, we are based on a membership model so that to be a member is to give a dollar a day, like you mentioned, or mm -hmm. $365 a year each year that goes into a common fund that members then choose the social entrepreneur to give it to. So if you can afford a dollar a day, you can be a philanthropist. Wow, beautiful. Talk to me, your tagline is small money, big change. Mm -hmm. Right, and again, you know, that means that with your small donation of $1, $365 a year, you can create big change. Because I like to go back to what I was originally thinking when I started this organization. I looked up the definition of philanthropy in Webster's Dictionary, and it says the goodwill to fellow men and women, mm -hmm. and especially an effort to provide g goodwill, um, to provide effort towards that. It doesn't say anything about being rich. It doesn't say anything about being famous or even being connected to those type of people. It just means that you care mm -hmm. and that you care enough to do something about it. Yeah, so I think that that's one of the things that people sometimes think because when you think you have to be rich, think you have to, you know, all right, um, you know, I've reached star status now. Now I can, now I can right. engage. Or, you know, you see the Oprah and the big gives and things right. of that nature. But there's so many other people out there that are doing things on, like yourself on a grassroots level and even on small levels that, that that really make the difference. Share with us a little bit about how even on the small level it can make the difference. Well, do you mean with social entrepreneurs, or mm -hmm. with the philanthropists? With the, with social entrepreneurs. So, with social entrepreneurs, what a social entrepreneur is is there, actually there is no decided definition. There's a lot of debate about that. But the way that we define it, these are visionary people, people who are risk takers, who provide solutions that come from across the sectors, meaning that they take best practices, lessons learned from the for-profit, maybe from the nonprofit, academia, foundations, and they pull all this information together to create a real solution that's both sustainable, effective, and hopefully scalable, meaning we can take it into other communities across the country and hopefully across the world. Mm -hmm. So in their small efforts, when they're starting up, they can make a big difference. And you guys have, as you said, have just pretty much just gotten started. Who are your members? Our members are people from across New York. We have all kinds of people, again, across sectors, for nonprofit, academia, we have students, we have people in foundations, but most of all, they're just people who care and really want to have a way to make a big impact in New York City and their personal communities. When you talk about impact, I think that's one of the things that sometimes we don't think that our dollar will make that impact or right. our time will make that impact. Uh, how can you encourage someone to let them know that, you know, even though it is a dollar, like we said, a dollar a day, it still has impact? It still has an impact because together we can make a difference. And so we have people like Warren Buffett who give a billion dollars. Obviously that's going to have an impact from one person, but I don't have a billion dollars. I don't know about you. Right, no. <laughs> right, but collectively, <laughs> with our collective dollar a day, we can get up to an amount that makes a difference. And we couple that with the, uh, the skills, the, the skills that entrepreneurs need to 
move into larger organizations to really ramp up their efforts. And we also round that out with the access to networks so that if somebody doesn't have a skill, if we can't provide exactly what that entrepreneur needs from our membership base, yeah. we provide them other people within the New York City community and beyond that may be able to provide them that information or those skills. Now, is VPF, is VPF still looking for members? Absolutely. We're always looking for members. <laughs> the more members, the more impact. Mm -hmm. So how do you go about doing that? Well, we have an online website, www.nycvpf.org. Uh, we also have a Facebook presence, mm -hmm. and we look, for, you know, we post on listservs. It's, you know, person to person. We really believe in the social aspect of this entire endeavor. We are mostly online community, but we have regular events because it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be about meeting people, having fun, getting together, and doing good at the same time. And share some of those events with us. Well, and let's see, between February and March, we had three events. Mm -hmm. We had one of our soft launch um, over at the American mm -hmm. in Manhattan, and then we also had a brunch with people just to get together, eat some really great food, and talk about some of the things that we're concerned about. And then we had a big public launch also in March, and that was really great. And I don't know if some of the pictures are up, but we've had great turnout and great response. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we're having a members cocktail party in May, mm -hmm. and then also a speakers event to really focus on the topic that we have this year, which is the environment. You, when you talk about the concerns, I think, well, let's talk a little bit about that. I know the environment, the, yeah. as you said, is, is one. What are some of the other ones? Well, we have six topics that members vote on each year. So arts, education, environment, health, poverty, and youth. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about high engagement philanthropy, this is part of it. So that members drive the entire organization, including cho choosing the topic that we focus on. So this year until March 31st, polls were open to vote on which of those six were most important to our membership. And environment won by a landslide. Really? So, yeah. What is your concern with the environment? We are keeping that open. We're trying not to define that because we really want to find more than the specific topic, we want to find a strategy or a method that's really effective and support that. So if people want to get in touch with VPF, let's give them that information before we wrap sure. up. Sure. Again, it's www.nycvpf.org. Mm -hmm. Or you can just contact us at info at nycvpf.org. All righty. Yeah. Well, Heather, we want to thank you. She is the founder and chair of VPF. We want to thank you so much for thank sharing you. with us. And Best wishes in your endeavors. Thank you so much. All righty, Heather Reese with us. And we do have more to share with you, so please don't go anywhere. Coming up next, who took home the Pennsylvania primary victory? We know that it was Hillary Clinton, but find out about where things go from here when we return.